Hey everyone, Desiree here. I thought I would share with you my coloring book collection. Um, I have kind of been into the whole coloring thing. I kind of got, I guess, turned on to it about maybe f four to six months ago. Can't remember exactly. Um, my mom actually has been coloring for many, many years. I mean, as, I mean, adult coloring. She, um, <clears throat> I remember when I was a teenager, I would see her coloring in coloring books because she said it was a great way to relax her. And of course, you know, back then they didn't have coloring books specifically for adults, so she would buy kid coloring books and she would color in them. And I never really, you know, thought anything of it. And then probably within the last year, uh, obviously the whole coloring book trend has exploded. And um, I thought that I would give it a try. And I do like it. Now, I'm not someone who colors every day. I just do it here and there when I want to kind of, I guess, relax, zone out, um, kind of distract my mind from certain things. So I just wanted to show you uh, my coloring books and um, some of the things I use to color in my books and then maybe I'll do a little bit of coloring too if this video is not gonna be too long and if it's not too boring for you. So um, as you can see, I have um, one, two, three, four uh, coloring books here. <clears throat> Now I do have to warn you, these coloring books can be just as addictive as planners. Um, I had to stop myself at buying four because every time I go into Michael's or um, Joann's or anywhere, even like uh, Marshall's and TJ Maxx now, <laughs> excuse me, they have these amazing coloring books and I obviously want them all. And I think one or two of these I haven't even colored in yet. so. Um, I said, I just need to stop and use what I've got and don't buy a bazillion coloring books. Anyway, so um, I'm gonna show you what I've got. This first one, obviously, you can see is called Color Swirls. I picked this one up at Michael's. I can't remember if it was on sale or if I used a coupon, but I know it was probably around $5 or so. Um, you can see I've already kind of colored in it. And the thing I like about this is because it's got nice big spaces to color in. I don't like when um, some of the coloring books have such tiny, tiny little spaces because that stresses me out to have to try and make it look super neat um, in there. Now these are not, um, this is already um, colored in in the book. This is the book giving you suggestions about different palettes you can use and um, you know different colors of how you can make this look. This is not what I colored here. I'll show you what I colored but I kind of like um, that's what I like about this book is that it does give you some color palette suggestions you know especially if you want to do something like this I think is pretty with um, just the different shades of blue. This has got different shades of pink and purples so um, I thought that was kind of neat and then <clears throat> also you know once you kind of are done with this book you can kind of cut these pictures out and maybe reuse them so um, like I said I don't like books and I'll show you what I mean by with the tiny tiny super super tiny spaces but I like that these have big um, areas to color because for me that is more relaxing than trying to get a tiny you know pencil point into a tiny little area <clears throat> to me that stresses me out so and the other nice thing about this is that on the back of every page there's a really nice inspiring quote this one says color is a power which directly influences the soul so behind um, every page you have a quote the pages are perforated so if you want to tear them out um, this is one that I'm working on right now this one's not done and then this is one that I finished. This was the very first one that I did. I don't really like it because I don't think the colors match, but um, hey, what are you gonna do? <laughs> but anyways, this has some really great, um, you know, great pictures to color and it doesn't take that long. Like if you focused on doing one of these, you probably could get it done in an hour or two. Um, I try not to stress myself out. If I finish, I finish. If I don't, I don't. If it takes me a day, great. If it takes me a week, that's fine too. Um, if it takes me a month, here's one that I started and I used um, a Papermate flare just to see how it would look. And I didn't like how it came out, so I didn't finish. 
Um, it didn't really bleed through, but you, you can see I've got some ghosting there. Um, so anyways, um, that's this book, and this is called um, Notebook Doodles, Coloring and Activity Book, Color Swirl, and, and the maker is Design Originals, if you're looking for this particular one. I got it at Michael's. Um, the next two books I got at Walmart, um, one I actually got as a gift for Christmas and because I really liked it, um, I got it from my aunt. I asked her where she got it and she said <clears throat> Walmart. So then I went and I bought another one. So the one she got me is called Kaleidoscope Wonders Color Art for Everyone. And this is another great book. Um, I like how it's got a lot of repetitive patterns. I don't think I've even... Yeah, this is one I haven't colored in yet. But um, when I when I tell you about how the tiny spaces stress, stresses me out, it's kind of like this. You can see these lines in here. And I know you don't have to like color each individual section, but I almost feel like I would have to, and so that would kind of stress me out. Um, you know, or something like this. You know how you see these little loops and stuff. That kind of stresses me out. I don't know why, but um, anyways. And some, I mean, not all the pictures are like that, but some of them are like this one. It's a beautiful mandala, but I mean, unless you have a needlepoint pencil, there's no way you're gonna get into every little space to color. So um, anyways, but it's really pretty. Um, these pages are also perforated, so if you want to rip them out, you can. Um, so that is the Kaleidoscope um, Wonders Color Art. And again, this is from Walmart. This is $5. I think <clears throat> this one was like $6.99 or something like that, or $5.99. I can't remember, but it was, you know, not that expensive. So the other one I have is another Living Wonders Color Art for everyone. Um... Oh, color art for everyone. This one's called Living Wonders. And this one I like because it had animals in it. Um, you can see I started this one. <laughs> I have a habit of starting them and then not finishing the pictures. But I started this and I used a ballpoint pen. And again, I didn't like the way it came out. So I think that's probably why I never finished it. But um, this has got like really cute, you know, foxes and raccoons and this is a real pretty swan I'm looking forward to doing that fish is this horses yeah horses cats um, a really pretty owl picture another horse so I really like these pictures here um, oh and look at this these bears that one's really cute <coughs> excuse me take a sip of my tea but anyway, um, yeah, so this one I'm looking forward to working in too. And my last coloring book is, um, I think this is one I found at, was it Ross or something? I don't know. I can't remember where I found this. Anyway, um, this one I really, really like because I really like the... Um, uh, henna body art and I, when I saw this one I said oh this is really cool and um, I think I did one picture in here but again it's got this really intricate uh, designs in here oh here it is yeah this is the one that I um, started and I'm almost finished with this and again I've been working on this probably for about a month I just work on it and then I come back to it and then I a few days, a week goes by, I come back to it. Um, you know, I'm in no real rush to get it done. I, when it gets done, it'll be done. And um, yeah, these are also perforated as well. So if you want to rip them out. And then it's got some, you know, examples of colors you can use and things you can do. It's called Mendy Designs. Creative Haven, I think is the name. Yeah, Creative Haven Coloring Book, Mendy Designs. Now, uh, what I use to color in my books, um, I have tried a, a bunch of different things. I've tried pens, I've tried paper mate flares, and what I have found that I like the best are colored pencils. Now, when I first started, I used just regular old 
<laughs> Crayola erasable colored pencils. These are what my, my aunt bought me when she got me the book. And these worked great for a while. And, um, you know, they're fine, good quality, they work. Um, however, you don't get a whole lot of color range with these. I think um, you only get like 12 or 16. I know this isn't all of them, but you know, you don't get like a big um, selection of color with these. So um, I do still use these, but um, what I'm using now and what I asked for for Christmas is the Prisma colored pencils and um, my mom got me this for Christmas I wasn't expecting to get the big box set and this is what I have been using now um, when I do my coloring and I love it I love these pencils they're beautiful um, they're really soft you don't need to push really hard to get like really intense vibrant color um, one of the things that the lady in Michaels told me was that um, these colored pencils blend really, really well. I haven't really experimented with that technique yet. Um, you get three trays. So I have this tray here, this one here, and then I have this one here on the bottom. I think it comes with 72 colors and they're just really beautiful colored pencils. Uh, they, I mean, they really do make coloring a joy. Um, you know they're easy to sharpen they just they're just my medium of choice I guess when it comes to um, coloring in my coloring books so um, let's see we're at almost 12 minutes um, if you would like to see me color I'll go ahead and do a little bit of that now if not you can go ahead and end the video I won't be offended but um, I know sometimes people, like I like to watch when other people color, so I thought maybe um, <clears throat> I'll do that a little bit too and you can see me kind of work on this. And then, um, yeah, that'll be it. I'll end the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will definitely see you in the next one.